Okay guys, these are just some uh, few classic rock riffs that I wanted to throw in just for fun. I'm going to fit as many as I can in this 10 minute lesson. So the uh, first one is Smoke on the Water. And so on. Alright, let's start with the uh, right hand. We have a, a D down here below middle C. So here's middle C. Here's the D we want. We want a G above that. Together. All right, and then the right hand's going to go to another fourth, an F and a B flat. So move to the right, F below middle C, and B flat below middle C. And then up a little bit to middle C, and then G below that. Okay, and what we're going to do is do left hand octaves. This is what the bass part is playing. And I'm just on the low G here. So here's the low G for your thumb, and I'm also playing a G on my pinky. And it's just over and over again, keeping that steady rhythm. And I'm just going to play the right hand with the first G octave in the left hand. And another left hand G. And together there. Another left hand G. Then right hand uh, together with left. And then two more G's. So that first box is. Then I'm going to go back to, uh, this is very similar to the first box here. So D and G on the right hand with left. And then left by itself. And together with the B flat and F. One more G octave on the left hand. Now we're going to go up to a D flat and A flat on the right hand. So here's D flat, this black key. A flat is this black key. Uh, play them together with the left hand. Okay, it'll sound fine when you go fast. And then we have uh, back to middle C and G below that with the left hand G. And then three more G octaves. So this box goes. Alright, let's go up here. This box is exactly the same as the first box. So, or actually it's not exactly the same. It's going to change the left hand here. So this part is the same. So together, left hand G octave together there. And then left hand. Then I'm going to go up to a C octave on the left hand. So the left hand is going to come up here to a C octave. So C on the thumb and C on the pinky. As the right hand moves up to middle C and G. Like that together. And two more C octaves. So this box is, and then we're going to move down in both hands to a B flat and F on the right hand. Here's B flat, here's F, here's the left hand on a B flat octave. So play that twice, and then the right hand goes back down to a G and a D. Left hand goes back down to the G octave we started with. Play it together, and then three more G octaves. And then the left hand is going to go bump, 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 so go even lower. <clears throat> to a low E octave. Here's the thumb E. The pinky you can't see, but I'm doing an E as well. Lowest E on the piano. And then moving up to an F octave. And then up to an F sharp octave. This black key is F sharp. And the pinky is on F sharp as well. So the last box is... Alright, let's do the next song. Hey, this is Iron Man by Black Sabbath. fun to do at parties or just to show off, you know, because everybody's heard these riffs. Uh, let's start with the left hand. We have a low B octave. Here's middle C. Here's the next C. Here's the B we want. I'm doing octaves. Okay. Uh, B, then up to a D octave. Same D. Up to an E octave two times. E, E. Now here's the tough part. Up to a G. Down to F sharp. Here's F sharp. Octave. Do it three times. So one, do it three times and then continue back down to D, two of those, and then back up to E two times. All right, right hand is a B below middle C, F sharp below that. Together, moving up to a D above middle C and an A. Play that again. Then move everything up to an E and a B. Do that two times. E and B together. All right, right here's the tough part. And I'm fingering it like this. I'm putting my thumb on a D and uh, my pinky on a G. It's kind of a weird fingering, but it helps you get to the F sharp and C sharp a little better. And the F sharp I'm doing with my ring finger, and the C sharp I'm doing with my pointer finger. And it kind of helps to go like that. If you want to move your whole hand, you can, but I like to do it that way. One, two, three. Back down to the D and A two times. Then up to the E and B two times. Put it all together. Or 
to put it on an electric guitar or something. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, let's do the third song. This one's kind of uh, funny because you would never think you could play this on a keyboard. But uh, this is uh, Thunderstruck by uh, <clears throat> ACDC. It's kind of a kind of a classical sound, a baroque sound, like Bach or something, but uh, it's on electric guitar. Here we go. <clears throat> First thing I need to show you is left hands on the B below middle C the whole time, and you're gonna what you're gonna do is go right left the whole time, right left, right left, right left, back and forth. And first I'll show you here D sharp above middle C, and then F sharp above middle C. But play a left hand B below middle C in between. So right left, right left. Do that eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then later you can go faster. And then we're going to have a, an E and a G. So E above middle C and a G above that. And here's the same B in the left hand. Uh, right, left, right, left. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do that whole thing twice. So go back and do this again, what I just showed you. Now here's the next part. You're going to have a B above middle C on the right, and then an A, go down to a G sharp, back up to an A, back down to a G sharp, then down to an F sharp, back up to G sharp, down to E, it's all in the same, same area here, F sharp, then D sharp, to E, back to D sharp, back to E, and then I ran out of room, D sharp, E, D sharp. What you're going to do is put a left hand B in between every right hand note. So B, A, G sharp, A, and so forth. Then you get. And if you really want to freak people out, do it with one hand. And then, but uh, that's not necessary. Just do it with two. That will work. Let's do the third song. All right, here's the third third song. We've got to hurry and run out of time. This is Cat Scratch Fever by Ted Nugent. All right, let's start with left hand. Look at this. All these A octaves. So an A right here. Here's middle C. Here's the next C. Here's the A you want. A octave. So all the way through. Okay. Right hands on an A below middle C. E below that. Play that together with the A octave, another A left hand, then next together with an F sharp, and a B on right hand, another A octave, then middle C and G below that together, and then together again, and then two more A octaves, so the first box is. Here's the next one, A and E, back to the A and E, together, and then B and F sharp with the right, together, then an A in between the left, and then right hand has a middle C and a G with the A octave, an A by itself, left hand, and then go down to a low E octave here, and then up to a G octave, and then G sharp, so this box is, and then we're going to go back and do this first box again, so do this first box, let's go up here to finish, middle C and G with the A octave, and then B and F sharp with the A octave, and then A and E with the A octave, and then another A octave, and then four more A octaves. Okay, well, that looks about all the time I have, so that's something just for fun, and I hope you enjoy it.